the special advisor to White House Council on Environmental Quality, Van Jones, made a comment when he was the head of the Ella Baker Center. He said, we're now in the third wave of environmentalism. Listen. We began to realize that we're really entering a third wave of environmentalism in the United States. Uh, the first wave is sort of, you know, the Teddy Roosevelt, you know, conservation era, um, which, you know, had its day. And then in 1963, Rachel Carson writes a book, Silent Spring, and she's talking about toxics and the environment. And that really kind of opens up a whole new wave. So it's no longer just conservation, but it's conservation plus regulation. Conservation plus regulation. This is great. I'm so glad that the special advisor to the White House Council on Environmental Quality brought up the Rachel Carlson book, Silent Spring. Indeed, as Van Jones points out, she talked about toxics and the environment. And uh, that did open up a whole new wave for the environmental movement. One of those things that it did was make a villain out of the pesticide DDT. Wait, I'm going to give a little history lesson. Oh, but you're going to like it in the end. DDT had been amazingly effective at killing mosquitoes, fleas, lice, spread malaria, yellow fever, sleeping sickness, plague, encephalitis, West Nile virus, all these things. So much so that before the discovery of DDT in World War I, typhus killed more servicemen than bullets. After DDT in World War II, typhus wasn't a problem at all. By the 1960s, DDT had all but eradicated malaria. Then came Rachel Carlson's silent spring book that Van was just talking about. Oh, it kicked off a firestorm over the safety of DDT. The U.S. banned DDT in 1972. Stockholm Convention later made the ban worldwide on agricultural use. The Academy, the National Academy of Science, credits DDT with having prevented 500 million deaths worldwide. 500 million. And that was just in two decades. Now, tragically, up to 2.7 million people in Africa alone die every single year. 90% of those are children under five. By the way, any harmful link to humans from DDT has never been found. Evidence? Bruce, Bruce N. Ames. He's a world-renowned biochemist and professor of molecular biology. And Thomas H. Jukes, professor of biophysics and the foremost expert on DDT. Oh, really? What university are they from? I know. The University of California at Berkeley. Yes, that right-wing kook tank, UC Berkeley. These two men there said of the attack on DDT, this is nonsense. Waylon Hayes, U.S. Public Health Service scientist, for 18 months fed to human volunteers daily three times the quantity of DDT that Americans were ingesting annually each day, three times the amount. None of the volunteers experienced any adverse effect then or six to ten years later. I want to make this clear. I mean, I'm not saying, hey, let's use DDT for a topping on ice cream. But shouldn't we be killing mosquitoes with DDT? If you, want to, if you care about the people in Africa, the answer is yes.